Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Royal Court Affairs Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the achievement of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who won the 120 kilometer race of Spain's International Endurance Championship, and on the success of the Royal Team in winning the first places of the three races of the same championship. The Royal Court Affairs Minister said that the landmark victory is a turning point in the history of. Bahrain equestrian and endurance sport, noting that the constant royal support enjoyed by such a heritage sport has enabled it to attain innumerable achievements. His Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health, happiness and long life, expressing hope that Bahrain will earn more world championships during His Majesty the King's prosperous era. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the achievement of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who won the 120 kilometer race of Spain's International Endurance Championship and the success of the Royal Team in clinching the first places of the three races of the same championship. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah praised the landmark victory that also adds to Bahrain's rich record of honorable sports achievements, attained thanks to His Majesty the King's unwavering support for sports and athletes, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the great care enjoyed by Bahraini sports from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is the basis of the achievements that the kingdom has achieved in foreign, in foreign forms. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the success of the victorious Bahrain cycling team is a new achievement for Bahraini sports embodying the sports level reach in international and European forms in various games. His Highness praised the team's win of the first place in the Tour de France uh, through the victory of cyclist uh, Mathieu Morovic, indicating that the uh, victory enhances the gains made by the victorious Bahrain cycling team in the foreign competitions and gives the team an incentive to continue reap the European achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also said that the achievement will motivate the team for further successes in foreign participations and comes in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, in which the sporting aspect is an important element. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the high potential of cyclist Mathieu Mohorek for winning the first place, praising at the same time uh, the efforts of other members of the team. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yagub Al Hamar, paid a inspection visit to Island Number 12 of Salman City, in which more than 1,382 flats will be constructed at a total cost of more than 122 million and a half million Bahraini dinars. During the visit, the minister stated that the residential flats projects in Salman City, whose implementation is expected to be completed during the second quarter of 2023, comes within the framework of the implementation of the city's master plan projects in a matter consistent with the housing objectives of the government's work program in regards to providing 25,000 housing units. The minister noted that the residential apartments projects in Salman City comes to meet the increasing demand for flats ownership in the northern governorate and in all governorates of the kingdom. The project will accommodate four units with many facilities and infrastructure services pursued by the ministry within its new strategy to build all modern cities that are capable or compatible with the advanced models of the sixth generation, such as providing open spaces, paths for proceeding outdoor hobbies, and also children's gardens and other modern services looking or overlooking looking green areas and waterfronts at a distance of 40 kilometers. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Engineer Wa'el bin Nasr al-Mubarak and the CEO of Electricity and Water Authority Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim al-Khalifa launched the Muharraq Market Station for the transmission of electricity with a voltage of 66 kilovolts. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs said that this vital project comes within the main plan set by the authority to develop and expand the electricity transmission networks in the kingdom following the directives of His Majesty the King and the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide electricity 
electricity and water services and meet the growing demand on their uses in addition to working on attracting foreign investments which are in line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's economic vision 2030. The minister added that the support provided by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects headed by the Deputy Prime Minister and Committee Chairman Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa contributed a lot to the completion of electricity and water authority projects in accordance with the approved time plans. For his part, Electricity and Water Authority CEO said that with the inauguration of this large capacity station will provide an opportunity to keep pace with development and enhance the reliability of the security of the electrical networks on Muharraq Island. He indicated that this station is one of seven power transmission stations of 66 kilovolts, in addition to three other stations of 220 kilovolts of electricity that fall under the project to develop electricity transmission networks funded by the Gulf Support Program. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil bin Abdurrahman al Asumi, has called for the establishment of an Arab Parliamentary Network for Science and Technology in replica to the high level working group of science and technology in the Interparliamentary Union to build mechanisms and bridges and adapt technological developments to serve humanity. Al Asumi's statement was made during the first visit of its kind by the Speaker of the Arab Parliament and a high level parliamentary delegation to the European Organization for Nuclear Research. The delegation was accompanied by by the organization's senior advisor for relations with parliaments, Dr. Mauricio Bona, and senior advisor to the Interparliamentary Union, Ambassador Mukhtar Omar. The WHO representative in Bahrain, Dr. Tasneem Atatres, praised the sincere and remarkable efforts made by the kingdom in the health sector at all levels, especially in confronting the coronavirus through precautionary and preventative measures for all citizens and residents in line with the recommendations of the organization. Dr. Atatres has highlighted the success achieved by Bahrain in confronting the virus and mitigating its repercussions thanks to the efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, expressing her aspiration for more cooperation and joint coordination between the the two sides. Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebartos, has all, or and the WHO's Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed al Mandri, will pay an official visit to Bahrain, marking the official opening of the WHO office in the kingdom. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,093,905 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,029,835 had taken the second, and 106,494 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and to take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 962 with 123 recoveries, 108 registered new cases and zero deaths. 57 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 42 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 